Somebody told me I look like their Uber driver the other day. <laughs> like, why, why would you tell somebody that? That's something you keep inside your brain. What compels someone to be like, no, he has to know. <laughs> Everybody takes Uber and Lyft nowadays. I feel sorry for cab drivers. I bet they're trying to trick people, like, no, it's Uber. <laughs> like, why is your car yellow? Just don't worry about it. Get there. Everybody takes Uber and Lyft because it's slightly cheaper than a cab. But what you save in money, you pay for in conversation. <laughs> You'll be halfway through your trip and be like, you know, I guess I never really did get over my parents' divorce. <laughs> I don't understand. People will talk to their Lyft drivers all day. But if their cab drivers were like, what do you do for work? They'd be like, enough with the chit chat, Ahmed. <laughs> I want to pay you to talk. Did you ever think that one day your cab drivers would just be random people with free time on their hands? <laughs> Never. How do you not know that one day your house won't be on fire and some 21-year-old kid with a smartphone will show up like, hey, what's up, I'm your firefighter? <laughs> I'll close one of the blaze. <laughs> Don't worry, I brought a super soaker, stand back. <laughs> oh, the pressure's building up, it's a good sign. The fire's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. <laughs> the problem with Uber and Lyft is that it's made getting into random cars so commonplace. Like you'll get into a truck, you'll get into an SUV, you'll get into a smart car. Like I could take my car tonight, just go to a bar at 2 a.m. Be like, hey, somebody get an Uber? Some drunk guy would be like, catch you guys later, it's here. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Take me. And I could just drive to the woods and murder this guy. <laughs> he would just be in his phone the whole time. <laughs> Wait, this isn't West Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> 